This video may contain coarse language and mature subject matter that may not be appropriate for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Anybody who's ever worked at a restaurant knows how horrible those sounds are. Oh, Christ. The skip the dishes chimes gives me nightmares to this day. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people of the internet. Andrew here, and welcome back to another video. Right now, we're currently at the old Wendy's here in Waterloo. I just love this place to death, so I wanted to come see it again. And yeah, it's been a bit of a week, guys. How are y'all doing? Hope y'all been doing well. Not getting in any trouble. Yes, I'm the type of person that dips fries in Frosties. Deal with it, it's fucking delicious. And let me turn the camera a bit because there's a the window over there is washing things out, but I think everything is good, everything is gooch, and yeah. There's somebody on the cross of the bay. I gotta talk. There's somebody at the other side of the restaurant having like a screaming match on speakerphone right now, and it's Yeah, you can hear it. Like, when I vlog in a restaurant or on a bus or something, I try to be quiet and respectful. Like, this is just the normal amount of noise you would have on a normal phone call, in my opinion, but the entire fucking restaurant doesn't need to hear what you have to say. That's just, that's just my opinion. That's all I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with it, but, ugh. Just say I'm very displeased. So, Andrew, where the hell have you been? What's been going on? So, unfortunately, I can't tell you what's been going on because, actually, I can give you the quick little rundown, but I have to be very, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I just have to be very careful of what I can say because I might have to involve lawyers because this situation is fucked up. So, as you guys can see, my beard's a bit less shaggy. So, I went to the barbershop the other day. <laughs> Okay, sorry, the camera died. So, like I was saying, I went to the barber shop to get my beard trimmed because it was looking a bit... It was looking like crap, let's just be honest. And by popular demand, I did keep it. I just got it trimmed. I think it looks a lot better now. So, yeah. So, all said and done, it cost me about 15 bucks to get it trimmed, nice, styled a bit. Not really styled, but... The guy at first choice did a fucking great job. That's all I'm gonna say. So, thanks, man. But yeah, so I just went to check out and I was like, hmm, good job. I have about 30 bucks in the account, so I'm gonna give him a $5 tip. <sighs> turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Oh, come on, guys, just. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding, but it... <laughs> yeah, skip the dishes. Gives you PTSD if you've worked in a restaurant before. I'm not fucking kidding, but... <laughs> Can somebody just accept that fucking order? I want to go back to the kitchen myself and accept it. <laughs> because when you hear that chime, usually you have to run to accept the order because some guy with a bag is going to be in your store within, within 20 minutes to pick up your food. And if they're not there in time, you're going to get yelled at. But, yeah, like I was saying. So, yeah, good amount. So I was going to give the guy about... Oh, fuck me. The Uber sound? Or is that DoorDash? I think it's Uber. But. Yeah, so. I was just like, yeah, he did a fucking good job. I'm gonna give him about a $5 tip. So, in total, the thing would have been about mm, 20 bucks. So, not a bad deal. Like I said, I had about $30 in my checkings, and I had about 
350 in savings, so yeah, bitch, $5 tip, so be it. So I checked out and I was like, okay, I just checked my banking app maybe like 35 minutes ago, so I knew I had the money in it, but there was an error. So I inserted my card again, did the whole thing, and next thing I know, the fucking message that showed up was, uh, hey, you don't have an account. So I'm like, wait, what? I don't have a bank account? Like, what the hell is going on here? So let's just say I was slightly concerned. <laughs> People, stop ordering food on fucking Skip. Seriously, you just stress us the fuck out. Just stop doing it. But yeah, just don't order food on Skip, guys. Just be a decent person. Go through the drive-thru or something. Oh, that's the chiming, a driver's gonna show up any second now. <laughs> I'm sorry I keep interrupting the story, but yeah, so my account didn't exist. So I was like, what the fuck's going on here? This is getting concerning. So I so went to the ATM because the CIBC branch was maybe like a stone throw away from the barbershop. So I went there, put my card in the ATM. It says, you don't have an account with us. I'm like, bitch, I had an account with you guys like 35 minutes ago. So what the hell is going on? So I had to call them up. Nobody had any idea. So I was on hold for a good three, four hours. So it was just a real pain in the fucking ass. So that happened. So long story short is this company, I'm not gonna say their name, like I said, CIBC has suggested I seek legal counsel now. So I'm not gonna say their names just in case this has to go further. I don't really want to have to take this to court, but like I said, I had like $300 in my savings account that no longer exists. So apparently I was just doing a free consultation with this debt consolidation firm or whatever, but somehow a free consultation turned into I signed the papers, I paid them to shut down my accounts and start consolidating my debts. I didn't sign anything. I didn't pay anything. I just went in for a free consultation. So apparently these motherfuckers used my name to go to the bank to shut down my account. And yeah, so I pretty much told CIBC like, what the hell guys? Like, are you gonna let any Yahoo call? Hey, like, hey, yeah, I know Andrew. Can you shut down his account? I, uh, trust me. And I was like, no, don't do that. Fuck. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's pretty much as much as I can tell you right now that a debt consolidation company took my bank account without prior permission. <laughs> so, I'm just kind of stressed out, obviously. I'm like, right now I've currently made a new bank account with Scotiabank just to make sure I have all my funds in order, but yeah. Right now, I have a grand total of $120 to live off for the rest of the month. And may I add you, it's only the 10th of August. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> so yeah, mom gave me like 10 bucks to go get this, so. So thanks to her, I'm able to stay here, but yeah, I've been having to deal with it. I've been on the phone for hours. Like, that's why I have been gone. Like, my account just disappeared. Now I have to go see legal counsel, supposedly. It's just been a whole freaking nightmare. So, if you guys are wondering why I've been kind of gone, that's pretty much the main reason, because I've just been super stressed out. Justifiably, I would say, but it's just been a total nightmare, guys. A total nightmare. So, yeah. I know it's real no excuse, like, you're Andrew. I don't fucking care about your personal life. I just want to watch videos on YouTube. So, bitch, please, you got one today. DoorDash! <laughs> so the other one was the Uber one. Now I remember that is DoorDash. 
like, okay, honestly, any viewers of mine who live in Canada who has ever worked at a restaurant with these couriers before, do you guys understand how painful it is to hear it when you're just trying to relax? Like, I'm not fucking kidding. It feels like you just want to hop your ass into that kitchen and start cooking to get those orders done. Like, I'm the customer here. I shouldn't be having to think like this. But... Yeah, they didn't give me any napkins. No. But. Okay, guys, the camera just decided to die on me again. This GoPro fucking Hero 10 is driving me insane, but. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So, guys, I just decided to finish my Frosty in peace and quiet. Just go relax a bit, so. Bitch, please, this didn't turn out to be a mukbang video, so. Too bad, so sad. Okay, let's move. Get these guys in my bag first. So, yeah. Oh, God, no. I only have one hand. I'm trying to shove my headphones in my bag, and I'm holding the camera with the other hand, so. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Alrighty, so, yeah. Another look at the awesome Wendy's. I know we've seen it before, but this is literally the coolest restaurant in history because it's old. It is old. Old! Okay, now I'm outside. I can act like an idiot. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, old classic go bus. Old classic go bus. Driving past an old classic Wendy's. <laughs> Okay, I'm just having way too much fun with this. So, okay, let's move. <laughs> let's move. So I want to show you guys something real quick. I'm going to try to show you guys a good view of the Wendy's. Yeah, I know there's going to be some lens flares, but I'm sorry. Oh, there's another Go Bus. It's the Double Decker one. Wonderful! <sighs> so yeah. Like I was saying, like, do you guys ever like have the urge to go back to the kitchen too when you hear those chimes or Am I just being dumb? I can't be the only one. My coworkers used to say the same thing when they went to restaurants, so. I think those fucking tablet chimes are like seared into our memory. And I'm not fucking kidding, it's really that bad. <laughs> So yeah, don't know if you can see it from there, but there's an Angel's Diner that's part of a hotel that looks like it's all fenced off. So I kind of just want to walk around there for a sec. So we can... Okay, uh, this street's too busy to cross like that so we're gonna have to go down to the crossing I know I disappear for a week and now I'm following the laws of the road like what the hell Andrew but yeah look it's a uh, angels but it's also like a hotel it looks really cool I don't know if it's abandoned or are they just doing some renovations I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Oh God, it's bright. I'm just trying to make sure I don't walk onto the street.
That was the bus stop I got off at. Weirdly enough, route eight slash 12 was a uh, gen three Nova hybrid today. Very uncommon to see those on this route. Oh, not as uncommon as some things, but I'm not sure. It was just pretty cool though. It's just pretty cool though. Taken. If I go up there, that will take me to an ion station, so we can just get the train home, I guess. Am I really required to push it? Yep. Ma'am. Ma'am. Why did I just do that? Honestly, you guys should just expect it by now, I think. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Let's move. Let's move, bitches. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hopefully you guys saw that. Hopefully I wasn't just counting down like a douchebag for no reason. I have a bad feeling I might have been. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah. I want to show you the other side of the street too, but let me try. Okay, I don't see many lens players. I think we're good. But. There we are. So when I first drove past this place, I was like, are they abandoned? Is this like an abandoned hotel too? Holy shit! That's fucking awesome, guys! Okay, I'm just trying to, I know this gate's open, but as you can see, there's a truck there. They might be redoing it though, because. Yeah, I don't think they're demolishing it. I think it might be just like a refacing or something or repurposing it. Now I need to figure out what the hell this is because it also looks really cool. Well, whatever it was, it is for lease, up to 34,000 square feet. I don't know, it looks kind of like the face looks kind of like some restaurant, but then when you look back there, it looks not sure. This fencing doesn't look like the standard uh, abandoned fencing kind of thing, but 
I don't want to get too close because as you can see there's a fire station right there and that's like yeah so yeah there's the Wendy's guys we're gonna be seeing a lot of that in the coming weeks because every time I find a really cool property it gets turned into a fucking Burger King no that was just that Tim Hortons but Twenty twelve Gen three point five Nova LFS, beautiful. <laughs> no, which way am I going? No, not that way. This way will take me there. Okay. Oh, I'm being stupid. <laughs> I'm just extremely freaking tired. Life has also been a real pain in the dick, so as you guys probably can tell from the story I told you. Like, what the fuck? Like, what kind of bank terminates your account because somebody called them up and asked them to? So I asked CIBC straight up. I was like, can you please show me the paper these people sent you with my signature on it? And like, unfortunately, that is confidential. Confidential? It's my fucking signature. But how is that confidential? Holy crap. I don't know. I just don't know. It is... Ugh. That is the coolest looking comic shop in all of mankind. Maybe not, but <laughs> I really don't pay attention to comic shops that often. Uh, maybe we're just going to grab Route 7. I'm not sure. Yeah, guys, I was just furious, though. Like, in all my years, I have never told a customer service representative to fuck off. That changed this week. Because I told them exactly what I told you, like, So I asked him, I was like, so it's okay for you. So, so it, now, what am I saying? So all you need to shut down an account is some random asshole company calling you guys. There's a Gen 2 Nova, wonderful. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm thinking I'm just gonna call this video a quick little update or something. Oh, is that an old Pizza Hut? I'm exactly like a dog. Squirrel! Squirrel! <laughs> but to me, it's like old abandoned buildings. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's Popeyes. Totally, that's a Pizza Hut. You can just tell by the look of it. There's no doubt about it that chickpea was a Pizza Hut. 
You can even see the, oh my god, can you even see the label scar? Can you even see the label scar? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, kind of. Can't really zoom in. I'm using the GoPro, obviously, but. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, mostly the purpose of this video today was just to let you guys know I'm still alive. I haven't abandoned you all. That CIBC are a bunch of douches and this other company are a bunch of fraudsters. And people need to stop using the couriers to order their goddamn food. Just get off your lazy ass and go to the restaurant. Please, for the love of God. Like, back in the day, like, okay, maybe ordering pizza, but they always have their own delivery team prepared. So, yeah. Usually, it's like, if you have your own delivery team, you guys are coordinating, you guys are like, oh, this is going to be that long. You don't get some random prick walking into your restaurant like, 8042. And like, oh, that's going to be another 10 minutes, sir. I cannot tell you how many times I've been cursed out by skip drivers. It's just insane. Well, my friends, I guess that's just worth being part of the customer service industry. <laughs> and the worst part about skip the dishes, though, is people still use their own goddamn dishes. You still have to do your dishes and you're pissing me off. So, yeah, you hell fuckers have to still do your dishes. Uber Eats, like, why are you eating an Uber? Because that's just weird. And DoorDash, dashing your door, that sounds extremely explicit. I'm gonna dash your door. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> no. Buddy's dashing my goddamn door. That's all I'm saying. Nobody is dashing my goddamn door. No questions about it. Done deal. My door's off limits. Bitch. Fucking please have a nice day. Meh. <laughs> trying to look up which one, what bus stops are close by. Hey guys, rare look inside my bedroom, but yeah failed for a third time so at that point I just kind of what do the kids call it these days rage quit I was literally about to shove that camera up somebody's ass that's how mad I was I'm thinking it could have been my fault this time though because I was on my phone and when the phone turns on it connects to bluetooth and uh this fucking thing wants to connect to bluetooth I'm not sure but this camera has been pro- Oh god. Oh, that's fucking trippy. Mm. But this camera has been nothing but problems since I got it, so... Yeah. I don't say I don't say. So yeah, I got pretty much the... Hold on. Video edited, so I just wanted to get this last little piece in. So I could finish it off and have it uploaded before midnight. Which is goal but yeah whole thing turned out pretty well i'm happy with it and yeah sorry if it was kind of a more low-key video nothing really happened well it is just called life update or whatever i'm gonna call it so it is more of an update video but i thought that abandoned angels at pizza hut and that wendy's were pretty damn cool so some stuff to see 
probably not one of my most ambitious projects, but I'm happy with it. And I guess that's all that really matters at the end. If I like it, I would watch it. And like I say, the only content I upload to this platform is stuff I would watch personally. If I wouldn't watch it, I wouldn't expect you guys to watch it. Plain and simple. That's just not how it works. And yeah. So I guess that's it for this one, guys. Is there anything else I need to say? No. Okay. So yeah, I guess, like always, live life to the absolute fullest. And goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers. And no, you still may not dash my door. <laughs> <laughs>